Hello, and welcome to the Serena Expedition. Who says you can't play horror games outside of October, huh? I just feel like playing more horror, so here we are. We're going to be playing, I think, three different little itch.io horror games that I picked up. And first up, we have the Serena Expedition. So let me just read off of the, the little page here. It just says a short horror platformer made for the haunted PS1 summer of Shivers Game Jam. And... There's some controls here, and there's a little story thing, but there is narration, so the story will be read out to us. Unfortunately, though, there is no, no way to set up subtitles, so I'm just gonna have to shut up, and hopefully we can we can hear the uh, the narration. It's It can be a little hard to hear from what I tested just like 30 seconds in, so let's see. I remember getting the call vividly. I was trying to finish up for the day, but a stack of paperwork was keeping me late. To be honest, I was also looking for reasons not to go home. My phone rang, answered it, and the director of the institute was talking, albeit disjointedly, about something that had turned up in a recent survey of the Serena Deep. Control, this is Sierra Echo 1. Connected to docking walkway. Now leaving the bathosphere. Copy that. So we are her, and control is that dude. You can press shift to run. And I, I expected this game to have like tank controls or something when I looked at the screenshots, but apparently it's just kind of a, a linear, like basically a 2D platformer. Like you can only go left and left and right, and the camera will just take care of itself. To describe something that showed up in sonar imagery, two to 300 meters long, and too regular in shape to be a natural formation. I thought she was getting ahead of herself when she called it a facility, but more detailed scans seem to confirm this. Yeah, so I don't really know how much there's really gonna be. Oh, we, we can jump up here. Like in terms of gameplay, if it's more than just hold the button. Oh, this is interesting. Should we go here or should we go down? Let's go down. I assume going down will be like a locked door or something? No, that, that looks pretty open to me. I'm in a central hall. Seems to be where the living quarters were. I can't the hear. The number of cells along the wall. No other trace of life there. Seems to have been abandoned. It's odd. The construction looks like it's from the 1980s or 90s. Copy. I did not copy. Yeah, really wish there were subtitles for this. Holy crap, it's it's hard to hear. And like, it's even intentionally kind of distorting and like cutting out at times. Ah, here we go. So Z to open doors, and we can't. I see. Okay, so we can't do anything here. We have to go up and take that, that other path. But yeah, generally speaking, Set your horror game in, like, the deep ocean, and that's a surefire way to make me not play it. Play it, because, uh... It's that shit scary! <laughs> I don't know, I can't really handle the deep ocean much, but... This is more like exploring a, an ocean facility, so... Seems like it might be a good middle ground. Yeah, even while running, we're fairly slow, which... Makes sense. Both in terms of what's happening and in terms of, like, the game's pacing. No, oh, here we go. Oh, hello! <laughs> was that like a little doll? At first I thought it was a fish, but then it just looked like a doll. Alright, so that was that. Another game that has, like, static camera angles, which can be used to great effect. I just recently played a kitty horror show game called Grandmother's Garden, which I think made use of, like, static camera really, really well. And we can't, like, jump off here, no. And I assume we don't have, like, a time limit or anything like that.
Lovely. We're out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, that, that kind of got me. Sierra Echo 1, this is Control. We're seeing considerable elevation in your heart rate. Is everything okay? <laughs> I'm fine. Could you monitor my external reading for anything out of the ordinary? Roger. And there's nothing out of the ordinary happening, of course. Thing is, there's no record of any structure of this size having been constructed underwater anywhere. And certainly none at a depth of 10 kilometers below sea level. So who built this thing? When? And why? I've so many questions. Oh, hello. Coming control. Are you picking up anything unusual in my external readings? Negative, Sierra Echo 1. We are registering continued elevation in your heart rate and blood pressure, however, which indicates acute emotional distress. We advise caution. I'm fine. Over and out. Everything is fine. Yeah, I do. I do hope it's not just going to be flashy jump scares. The first eyeball was good. I was chosen to pilot a bathosphere down to the structure and investigate it. An atmospheric diving suit was obviously necessary at that depth, but I've been working on a new suit that utilized highly sophisticated equipment for underwater surveys. Oh. This seemed like the perfect opportunity to test it out. Okay, so we, we can choose which one to keep open. Alright, so let's leave this for now. Or was that just the way I came from? This might have been just where I came from. Or was it one level up? Yeah, that's that's one level up, isn't it? It's this door up here that we close? So maybe I don't want to close that yet? Yeah, so this one is closed, but we can jump across here. The music's a nice touch. Yes, I'm aware of the dangers of a dive to that depth. Of course I am. I've been diving for most of my life. And this didn't seem like something I could pass up. The mystery consumed me. I see. I have to know what it is. Alright, well, back we go. Put a lever controlling these doors down here, anyway. So then in here, I guess there's just another switch? Yeah. I'm in what looks like a storage room. Can't tell what was stored here. I'm still not sure what the purpose of this facility was. Sierra Echo 1, we recommend returning to the bathysphere. Your vitals are highly erratic, and we are concerned for your well-being. I can't yet. Everything's fine. Over and out. I'm kind of curious to see if you can return. I assume you can't, but... We could just check it out quick. And by quick, I mean very, very slowly. I'd imagine this is fairly linear. Yeah, I'm I'm doing this. <laughs> Skip ahead five minutes in the future. 
This won't be anything. Do we see the eye again? Nope. Oh boy, why am I the way I am? I know it's not going to be anything. We're just going to go to the pod and... There you go. Dead end. Go back again. I know, and yet... I must. see it. Let's just pack it up and go home, right? I'm, I'm in. Take off. Well, I am shocked. Okay, <laughs> back we go. Yeah, if only we could, like, jump down here. Just float down. While we're doing nothing, I was kind of surprised to see that this game is in the Twitch directory. Twitch has been doing pretty good on that, like adding even small itch.io indie games to the directory. I think two out of the three games that I want to play tonight are all like individual categories on Twitch, which is good. So they can get like properly categorized. Meanwhile, YouTube has like nothing like that and if you leave it empty on youtube it just randomly picks what it thinks the game is so like half of old ps1 games just end up being minecraft oh yeah that, that's true i actually have heard of that twitch doesn't actually maintain the directory themselves they pull pull it from uh, giant bomb which yeah that's i mean that's still better at least that's being updated with even small indie titles and stuff Alright, now I've wasted enough time, let's just, like, properly play this now. So I pulled the lever, I think. We just have to go over here. Prepare for brand new jump scare. Well, not, not quite a jump scare. I'm sure my heart rate is fine, though. Sierra yeah, Echo 1, this is Control. We order you to immediately withdraw from the facility. Your behavior is jeopardizing your safety. I, I have to. I have to find out. Please, Echo. Eh. Yeah, that guy is overreacting. It's all fine. Oh. That's kind of interesting. Everything was black. 
and then I open my eyes. Oh. Wow, that was short. Okay. Holy crap. <laughs> I expected a bit more. I mean, yeah, I, I like the visuals and the atmosphere and the style, but... Yeah, you, you definitely need more game here than, like, three rooms, but that's that's good. I'll be uh, interested in seeing where this goes. Oh well, suppose that was just a, a bit of a short demo. You're weirded out by the black and white flashy thing. So that mouth appearance seemed weird. I'm not sure exactly what you mean. The mouth I was expecting, or not expecting, but, like, the the eyeball got me. Past that point, it was all kind of just like, things just flash into existence. So, in terms of scares, the first one got me, the rest maybe not so much. I was hoping for more like, kind of subtle things, I suppose. But, I don't know, we'll see. I guess, when a full game comes out, maybe, at some point. But yeah, that was the Serena Expedition. Let's switch over and do... Uh, one called, oh boy, uh, the Symphony of the Seven Souls or something like that. I'll check it out.